today I turned 22. And Payday will be uh, 10 years old next month. It's it's really weird to think that uh, Payday, Payday in general has been such a big part of my life with many ups and downs. Like, yeah, I, I found the game by accident, basically. I found the first game, that is. And after I learned that there was a sequel, because I really liked the first game, I bought it. I I didn't buy the first game originally. If that, if yeah, because I don't think a twelve year old really had the the financial status, so to speak, to uh, buy a game. But yeah, uh, I bought Payday Two by uh, selling my CS:GO skins, basically, and from there. It's, it's just been rolling like a snowball. Well, I, like, through playing the game, I found basically my most valued friends. I found a great community and had just a good time in general. But, uh, of course, that, uh, not everything was good. So, uh, like, custom heists was like the big thing that I was always looking forward to. Like, whenever, like, there were some small murmurs that custom heists were gonna be a thing, I started to follow it. That was Restoration Mod then, back then. Uh,. And uh, they kept saying, oh yeah, we're gonna release this and that, but uh, nothing ever came out, sadly. But I was able to play only once, Turf War. I don't have any footage of it, I don't have the map, but I I just know, I, I don't even remember how, what it looked like, basically. But... uh. Yeah, I, I was able to play it, even if it was just vanilla heists, basically, with some edits. At that at that time, that was big. But then came uh, Quacker Tree, who basically jump-started the uh, custom heist community, so to speak. And uh, through that, I decided that, uh, you know what's a good idea? I'm gonna make videos about these, and I'm gonna review them, so to speak. But, uh, that was probably a really dumb idea. In hindsight, I should have just, like, done a showcase. Because, uh, I got a lot of flack for, uh, basically saying what I did say, because I was expecting way too much with, yeah, like, I was expecting too much, and uh, in turn, I got flack for it, and I completely understand that. Uh, Cracker Tree left at some point, and uh, to an extent, I blame myself, but uh, I... I think I wasn't completely the entire reason why he left. At least I hope that wasn't the case. But uh, as uh, Payday 2 started coming closer to end of life, we had probably one of my favorite games. A game that I hold really close to my heart, even if basically no one likes it. Apparently, uh, Raid. It's uh, it's a game that was 
really important to me, so to speak. But uh, sadly, the game, it didn't last long. And uh, from there, it basically just went downhill for me. I, uh, I made the biggest fuck up of my life. Because I was just an immature, teena- I- immature teenager who, who wanted clout. Like, I don't even remember exactly why I did it and why I blamed the people that I blamed. But uh, the entire icebreaker leak incident... Yeah, it was a really dick move. That is, of course, in hindsight. At at that time, I was, I apparently didn't care. Like, sure, I got outcast from the community. Uh, uh, a lot of people hated me for what I did. Uh, and because of me, I basically deleted the chances of a career for a certain individual. And, and words can't fix that, I know. But uh, I am sorry for what I did. Now, of course. I, like, I regret, I regret it quite a bit. But uh, then payday came to end of life. At that point, White House released, no more updates. It was over. Overkill's The Walking Dead released, a game that I really very enjoyed. But uh, was killed by Skybound pretty quickly, which was probably the stupidest thing they could have done. And then Payday 2 got revived again. And it slowly started getting updates. So when that happened, I decided to take a peek at what's going on in the community. And I saw that custom heists had really blown up, so to speak. We had amazing tools that were handmade by the community. Like, not completely handmade, but from the scraps that were still in the code of the game got turned into the editor so yeah and uh i decided to uh, make my own heists like sure at first i made just a shitty bank that i didn't technically even finish because uh i just wanted to see what i could do and then I saw the uh, Payday 2 Maps Mapping Contest that I took part in. And I made Armor Transport Atrium, which was a pain to make, but I finished it. And I'm, I would say, proud of it, as it is a concept that I love. And I might revisit it. The Heist might name. The heist isn't really the best, but I I love it for what it is. And at some point after that, Quack Retreat, of all things, decided to uh, contact me to do a duo 2 times 12 stream. Uh, at first, I, like, when he messaged me with that, I... I was shocked because uh, I always thought that uh, for all the things that I had done and what I had said, I would be hated by him and other individuals. But uh, I was humbled, I still am, that I was considered for something like that. I'm sure I wasn't the first choice, 
but I I'm still happy that uh, I got to do that with him because it was really fun. Not a lot of people were around for the streams, but who were they know who they are and uh, they uh, they made it the more they made it even better for me. God, words. But yeah, I then basically like I had already joined the pay to two maps community. And I want to think I'm a valued member. Probably not, but I do consider most of the people there my friends. Like, like I don't even know why exactly I'm making this video. I just, I don't know, I felt like I needed to look back and just think about everything, because life isn't the best. I have my own, I have my own issues, but I, I try to be positive. And I, what can I say? I, uh, if it weren't for payday, I, uh, I, uh, probably wouldn't be here even. Yeah. And uh, the community, it, it, uh, it shaped me. I, I hope I'm a better person now and people think and consider me a better person compared to what I was. What else can I say? Thanks, Overkill. You, you may not have the best track record yourselves, but uh, thanks. And thanks to the community, I guess, <laughs> to everyone who have talked to me still talk to me and uh yeah and uh let's hope we have a uh, another 10 years and let's hope that in those 10 years nothing bad happens thanks <laughs>